So a complaint I've heard a lot lately after Stylus added it so that the MVP on the winning team can win 100 credits is that people feel like they're not good enough to actually achieve that MVP position to win those 100 credits. And today I'm going to be showing you guys through a game of flare domination with a M9 not using an automatic gun or anything, how simply just running objectives can be the best way to win an MVP. You don't need to drop 100 kills, you don't need to be the best player in the game. So let's just go through this game and I'll show you guys what to do. Realistically, it's all about having fast movement, so just running around and sliding honestly like that that's literally all you need to do for the most part and as long as you are doing that you will be a-okay i won't be doing anything crazy this game i won't be try harding by any means i will just be casually playing and showing you guys how easy it really is to actually get those 100 credits you guys got to remember that with playing this game, every single time you capture a position, it's going to be worth about four and a half kills. Well, four and a half kills with no extra bonuses, meaning no, you know, headshot multipliers or double kills or multi kills, whatever. Four very basic kills with just capturing one objective. So again, M9 only using the most simple pistol, not try harding, not using a crazy overpowered gun that nobody can get. We are going to go ahead and get this win on top of getting the MVP. I believe they should be trying to capture a here. Here's two of them. See if we can just run away. Okay, that didn't work out to us. Also, being able to kill people when they're capturing a flag gets you a lot more points as well. I don't know if we'll even end up winning this game because it oh, kind of depends, unfortunately, on my teammates actually doing stuff, but we'll try our best to solo carry it. This should be our second cap of the game, if I'm not mistaken. Easy points here. I have a teammate on C. We're going to see if we can hop on A. And remember, guys, what I'm doing here is nothing special. I'm not, you know, using a crazy overpowered gun or anything like that. I want to make this video just to demonstrate that people who are feeling discouraged don't need to be. You could definitely pull this off and you could be able to farm credits just like the rest of us will be doing. And here will be our third capture of the game. We are already... Mm, Almost a thousand points above anyone else on my team right now, and we've barely even seen that many people. So now that we've got all three of these captured and we're kind of just holding up, never mind. I was going to say we're going to go for some kills here, but they offered us up another point, another 400 XP to grab. Don't mind if I do. And hmm, let's get back over there. All right. I heard a few people up here. One of them's going up the stairs here and they left the spot completely open. Thanks enemies, I really appreciate it. They cap C, now the one good thing about C on this map is that you can actually capture it through the wall. You don't actually need to be on the main point. So we come right here, we lay down. Unless they patch that? No, I don't think they did, but I needed to kill those guys first. Whoops. They also captured B, I believe. Or is that A? I think that's A. Yeah, A in the middle there. So we'll have to work on that as well. Another nice thing about this is that this gives you something constantly to be working towards. At least while you're running objectives, you'll always be trying to get to that objective and do something. Gives you a purpose throughout the entire game. Let's back off here. There's one, and he managed to kill me around the box. No, we're now getting triple capped, but that's all right. That means more points for us if we can actually get ourselves situated. All right, so we saw that guy down there on C. We're going to ignore him for now and try to get B. And I believe there was one guy over here, but he's no longer here. They're above me. Cool. We'll grab this, and then we're going to hop right on over to A since my teammates are already on C. They should have... Oh, they are under the map. I lied. Not under the map, but on the bottom floor. So I'm just going to lay down and hide for this one. I thought they'd have it almost fully capped by the time I got here, but I was unfortunately mistaken. But now we have a triple cap again. We have 11 kills and we are over 2000 XP ahead of anyone else on my team. I also want to bring up the point that this won't always be possible, guys. If you have someone who's just insanely good on your team, kills are without a doubt the easiest way to get MVP. And sometimes you just have to adapt. Heck, it happens. There's times where even I don't get the MVP. And that's just the way things are. You just have to play to the best of your ability. We are doing really good right now, though. 15 kills, 6,000 points, or even double the points of their top player. Honestly, guys, for credit farming, for people who aren't that great at the game, flare domination may be the best way to go about it. I don't think many people even realize how much XP can be gained from this. So not even just getting the credit rewards, but also just leveling up yourself. Okay, we, we lost that to a burst pistol. That feels kind of bad. Uh, but not even just getting the credits, just leveling up yourself. This is probably going to be the best way to go about it. Kill confirmed is also the easiest way to get a ton of experience. And since you can confirm people's kills rather than having to kill them yourself, it's an easy way to just farm off of other people's work. If you're just willing to play super aggressive, super upfront, get to those tags before they do. You can honestly get a ton of XP with not many kills either. Let's hop up here. 
I heard him coming up. We get sprayed from the back. They still haven't captured any other points. Look at that guy on their team. He is two and eight and he is the top of the leaderboard. That's what I'm talking about, boys. We're all going to get these credits. Everyone will be okay. Get a nice team spawn. Let's get down to C. I'm going to show you guys that way to capture through the wall again because I was laying down so it wasn't working before. Literally could just stay right here. This has been around for since I've started playing. Uh, there's a guy on the other side of the wall. So literally like five years. I don't know why this has never been fixed, but okay. Works for me. Just farming all these kills now. There's another guy going up. Buddy, 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 you're losing. Just get off the crane. Oh, I thought I was getting kicked. I was actually about to be extremely upset. We're living large. They just captured B, so let us get up here and go for that. And they also just captured A, so that's two more points we can grab. This will jump us up to just under 9,000 points. That's awesome for us. There's still seven minutes left. If this game were to go the full time, we literally could get close to like 20,000 experience with barely maybe 40 kills this game. That guy's literally just laying on the point. That's so dangerous. I don't like that. I think my teammate killed him. Yep. No, I was going to jump down there and steal the capture points, but we weren't able to. That's unfortunate. Never mind. We just stole the capture because of the team swan. Let's go. There we go. And we also just ranked up to rank 23 on this account. Pretty cool. 27 kills, 9,000 experience. And the game's actually over. It's that simple. 27 kills, 9,000 experience. Almost double everyone else's experience in the entire game. And we ran around doing nothing with a pistol. There's the 100 credits we earned. I promise you guys, it is not that difficult. You could do it using literally any method. Flare domination is going to be the best because there's the most points you can get. Having three capture points means three points of 400 XP each. Whereas something like King of the Hill is only one point. You have to hope that the other team caps it. Nonetheless, guys, just to show you that it is possible, you don't need to be some crazy good player. Just a quick little video for you guys. Hope everyone's staying safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.